So hey everyone and welcome to the channel as always. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich Charpentier. I'm the channel host and normally on this channel we're talking about drones, uh, doing drone jobs, doing construction progression work, and doing a lot of raw land sites. So we've been keeping pretty busy here in 2021 and we've been doing a lot of flights this year for construction clients. Now, on today's video, this is going to be a shorter one. We're going to talk about utilizing some slider presentations for ortho mosaics to show your clients the before and after of their larger construction sites. So right now we are on a new website that I'm still in the process of building called seemybuild.com. And this site is for our clients who are doing construction progression tracking. So they want to see the changes in the construction site over time. And we offer multiple ways to do that. So we offer video time lapse, still image time lapse, and also ortho mosaic time lapses. So I'm going to scroll back down here through this intro page. And we actually have samples of the video time lapse and the still time lapse. And we have an example of a two dimensional um, ortho mosaic with a slider on it. So this is in uh, response to one of our one of our ongoing subscribers here uh, who is asking about what the product was that we used to create this before and after slider. So we're taking a look and let's just scroll down. So we're looking at April of 2020 on this particular ranch we've been working on. And then we can take the slider right across to show the changes uh, in the landscape and the new horse ring area. So they, they're doing a very large scale horse ranch. And um, the slider is so simple. So we can take an image from one point in time, take an image from another point in time, uh, match them up in Photoshop so that they overlay each other nicely. And then the presentation is done on WordPress with a plugin called 2020. The word 20 spelled out and then the number 20. So if you are a WordPress user, this is going to be something you're interested in. If you're not a WordPress user, there are other tools out there. Um, the person who is asking this question on the YouTube subscription had also asked about slider revolution and whether or not they had a before and after slider. And to answer that question, here we go. Um, over at Slider Revolution's website, they do have additional add-ons to Slider Revolution. So if you're utilizing WordPress and you also use Slider Revolution, you do have an option for a before and after add-on. Now, in order to get that before and after add-on, you're going to have to sign up on a subscription with them and pay a couple dollars for the slider. So the standard free slider revolution that comes with a lot of our website builders. Um, there are some advanced features that they have beyond just the before and after, but I wanted to show you that yes, indeed, if you're utilizing WordPress and you're using slider revolution, you do have an option option of a before and after slider. Now, the free solution here is the 2020 plugin that I had just mentioned, and you've seen how this works here. So this slides back and forth, very nice and very easy. So if you're not a WordPress user, you're still going to need to do some research for yourself on before and after sliders for the web presentations that you're doing. But if you are a WordPress user, this is a really easy tool. So I'm just going to go into the dashboard to see my build. Um, on my uh, WP Engine account here. And I'm just going to jump down to my plugins and take a look at the installed plugins that we have. So we're just waiting for that. And I don't have many plugins on this site yet because we're still building it up. So we've got the classic editor for WordPress, Essential Grid, Genesis Blocks, Slider Revolution. So we do utilize that. And there it is right there, the 2020. Let me slide this over because I know that um, Part of this is getting covered up here. But so the last plugin is the 2020 image before and after. So if you go, let me slide this back over. If you go over to wordpress.org and take a look for 2020, you will find the 2020 image before and after plugin. So it's a very easy process to do a plugin on WordPress. 
And once that plugin is there, uh, let's slide the screen over again so that you can see it. You'll have the 2020 and you can activate it. So once we put the plugin onto the website, um, I happen to be using Xthemes Page Builder. And it has some of its own features for stylization and customization of the website. And with that in mind, sometimes some things don't play so well together. So in order to utilize the 2020 before and after image slider quickly and efficiently, I'm gonna head over to posts and we're gonna take a look. So I've got a zoom tutorial and I've got a time-lapse ortho mosaic here. And so this is where I was testing one of those time lapses. So I'm just gonna hit the edit button on the post really quick. And you will see, hey, there's this little code going on here. 2020, uh, image one is 12, image two is 13, and the offset um, is 0.5 inches. What does that mean to you? Does that mean anything to you? Probably not. Let me go ahead and hit return in here. And what I want you to take a look at up here is we have a button that says add 2020. So if I select that button, I can pick any of the images that I have in my media library. Now down toward the bottom, we will notice I have a June of 2021, and then I also have an April of 2021. Now these images were generated with MetaShape, so I made a two-dimensional orthomosaic model with MetaShape, and then I exported that model and I loaded it into Photoshop. In Photoshop, I aligned June 2021 and the April 2020. I overlaid them on each other to make sure that they matched up fairly well, and they did. Now, these were two different flights with the drone, so I had to fly multiple modeling flights for a two-dimensional model, and then come back to the office, uh, upload everything into Metashape. Once Metashape had done its job, I exported a TIFF file for each of the items. I lined them up in Photoshop. And finally, I uploaded them to my WordPress website and I could use the 2020 slider revolution. Now I'm just gonna go click and you won't see the other image. So, but actually let's drag this over just so you can see it, pulled it out from under there. So now you see a checkbox on April and we have a checkbox on the June 2021. I go down to the lower right hand corner here, I hit the insert button, and so we could also put our own text. So I had already labeled both of these in Photoshop, but you could put your own before and after text here. And we can also set our width or allow the width to be 100%, which is what I did. And then we have our offset and our direction horizontal or vertical, so you could have it swiping up and down instead. And we can also change the alignment and we could move the slider on mouse hover, but I'd rather people click and drag that. So once I've got this all set up, actually let's put a caption in here. Uh, let's say April and then we'll do June and insert the short code. So now we've created a new short code that will give us that, uh, that slider. And so right now we have 2020 image 13 and then image 12. So I flipped these, so I need to fix that. So I'm just going to actually, let's leave it flipped the wrong way. This is a really simple thing to edit and update afterward. So we have the offset. It also says before April, after June, I'm gonna go ahead and just update this post. Once again, this is not a page, this is a post. So this would be like a news item. Um, and now that we've done that, what we can do is we can actually take a look. So over on the right hand side, I'm gonna hit preview changes. And let's see, so here's the original one and gosh, this is gigantic. This is actually a very big file. They do get resized in WordPress. Um, so depending on the column size that I'm putting things into, it will resize this appropriately. So here's the first one that's already up on the website. And you can see we've got April and June. Those labels were from Photoshop, but the one that we just did, we just created a new one. And if we scroll down here, you will see smaller labels when I point this. So let's drag this out again, just so that you can see that April. So I'm pointing at it, it's using the information that we just put into it. So there's April 
and then there's June right here. So it says June right here. And we can scroll on up here and these are actually flipped. So they're opposite land right now, which is very easy to fix. I can go back in here and I wanna change this one to 12 and this one to 13. So the image number 12, image number 13, you're gonna be getting that from your media library automatically so you don't need to know which ones. You just go into your media library after you've selected the 2020, select the two images that you want to show the before and after. And once you've selected those, it's going to spit out a code like this. So there we go. Now, what do I need to do next to get it into one of my pages like that front page? Well, it's very simple. I'm going to copy this code. So I'm just doing a control C here. And then I can go to the web page and I'm going to leave this because I don't need to save these changes here. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. But so on the main see my build page all the way down, we had that before and after slider. And what we can do there is I'm actually going to edit the page with Cornerstone. Cornerstone is the page builder for X theme. So Cornerstone is what allows me to do these cool layouts. And so if you're not an X theme user, there are other tools out there for laying out pages. So you don't have to use the X theme. You can pick any favorite theme that you have. When we're looking at this, you can see right away that this is in fact the layout of that front page. And as I'm scrolling down, here we go. We've got two dimensional and three dimensional modeling in here. And then we've got this column over here and that column has text in it. I'm going to click on the edit text over here and take a look at this. So there is the 2020 and that's the original one. So if I wanted to put the new one into here, all I'm going to do is paste that short code that I made back in the post. That's it. So if I were to save this one now, it's going to put a second slider. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and save that and I'll come back and remove it afterward. So I hit the save button. It tells me I'm all set. And now I'm going to take a look at the front end of the website. So if we scroll all the way down here, as you recall on the front page, we had this first slider, but now we have a second one. And once again, when I'm looking at these, we can see our labels from Photoshop and the label that the 2020 slider also put in for us. So we didn't need to label those images. So there we go. That's it. That's how simple it is. So when you get used to this and you're making these regularly, this is only going to take a couple of minutes to put the before and after slider on there. Now I'm going to go back into Cornerstone here because I this is a live page and I don't want two versions of that slider. So I'm running all the way back down there and we're going to get into our text box that has the slider in it. We're gonna edit that text. We're just gonna remove that second one. So in some of the page builders, they'll actually include that 2020 button in the page builder. But um, in the case of X theme and the 2020 page builder, they don't play perfectly nice with each other. So that's why I have to jump over to making a generic post to create my slider for the before and afters. But if you were using a different page builder, it might be the case that when you get into the editor, so let's just go to the rich text here. So in the case of other page builders, when you're looking at your text block, there might be a button up here for 2020. In the case of the page builder we're using, that's not what's going on. Fortunately, I can just jump over to the posts, make a quick generic post, make sure it looks good, copy that little short code and then throw it in the appropriate page that I want to. So I could display that 2020 image all over the place throughout the website if I was, let's say, using it as an example of how this stuff works. But so there we go. That is the quick and dirty for you. And hopefully this answers the questions. Um, we had a recent question on this, but I do get this question often from folks. So we'll make sure to label the title so that people can find it nice and easy. And once again, don't forget, so if you don't want to use that 2020 before and after, Slider Revolution does offer a paid for product. And when you buy their updates, you buy a lot of additional updates 
that you might want to utilize in slider revolution as well. So there is always that option. If you are building with other tools, if you're building outside of utilizing WordPress, you're going to have to do a little hunting to find your before and after sliders for things like these, uh, these two-dimensional ortho mosaic before and afters. My apologies, I was just looking down at the screen real quick. Let's go back out to the main page here. And now that we got rid of that second short code, when we go down to our before and after slider here, there should only be one and uh-oh, did I not get rid of that one? Hey, take a look at that. So Rich forgot to do a delete here. So let's um, cancel. I forgot to save it over here and I was reusing something else. So go figure. There's the 2020 right there, just making sure. I'm gonna go down and hit the save button now, which is what I didn't do before. And now let's take a quick look. And as we scroll down, there we go. We only have the single ortho mosaic slider now. So this one's a little big. I might wanna change the column size here so that it doesn't take up the full length of the page on me or on other viewers as well. Well, I hope that this was informative and useful, and I hope that those of you who are starting to do these construction progression reports uh, find this to be easy to use and also compelling for your clients. Um, every one of our clients at this point does like the before and after ortho mosaics. It tells them a lot about their construction site very quickly. At a glance, you know what's changed between this date and this date. And if you enjoyed this one, be sure to go down below, like, and subscribe. Also, we do have a Patreon channel for Rich Charpentier, and you could come over and join with our other patrons. We do three private Zoom broadcasts every month, so the first three Sundays of every month. And also, I can be found on azdrone at teachable.com, so we do have a series of classes on our construction progression reporting and on other drone items as well. So you might want to head on over there and check it out. But once again, thanks for stopping by. Hope I got everybody's questions answered with this one. And if you have any further questions, also be sure to leave a comment below. And we do try to get back to comments as quickly as we can. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the week and we'll see you again in the near future.